Greetings in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is God's servant, Dilip Koshi, coming to you with a word in season. Let's look into the passage of Scripture. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. Reading from Acts, chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. When they had placed them in the center, they began to inquire, By what power or in what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are on trial today for a benefit done to a sick man, as to how this man has been made well, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by this name, this man stands here before you in good health. Peter and John were on the way to the temple and they saw a crippled man sitting at the temple gate called Beautiful and begging for alms. This man was more than 40 years old and he was carried by people to sit and beg. Imagine the condition of this man. More than 40 years old and this man was crippled from his mother's womb. He has never walked in his entire life. And people used to carry him so that he, he can sit somewhere by the wayside and beg for arms. All the people would care about him would be to fling a few coins to him. That's all. But when Peter and John, the anointed ones of God, came by, he encountered the power of God. He asked them for arms and in response, this is what Peter said, Silver and gold I have none, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Peter seized him by the hand, pulled him up, and this man leaped onto his feet and he started to walk. He went into the temple, leaping and walking and praising God. Can you imagine the commotion in that place? Worship, celebration, bewilderment, disbelief, shock. There's a mixture of emotions in that place. The Pharisees and the religious leaders of the, of the land, they were insecure and jealous about this notable miracle. They put them on trial for a benefit done to the sick man. In Peter's own words, he said, for the benefit done to a sick man, we are put on trial. Understand this, the gospel is full of benefits. The work of Jesus Christ on the cross is full of benefits for all those who would care to believe in it. This man was found in good health after 40 years of being sick. 40 years of being sick and then found in perfect health? This is the benefit of the gospel. Understand and know the benefits of the gospel. Receive it in simple faith. God bless you.